on guys, it's me Dan from Dan Car Films here. Welcome back to another episode of Madden 17 Online Franchise with Matt. Today, of course, we're the New York Giants. Another game, and uh, we are nearing playoff time, and so we're really needing a couple wins here. As you can see, we are 8-4, and four, yet out of the playoffs. We are beat by the Panthers and beat by the Falcons. So we need a win to secure our spot. I don't think we can catch the Cowboys, but today, <laughs> speaking of the Cowboys, here we are. It is prime time football. It is Sunday night. Um, I mean, if we could win this game and uh, win the next two, then, I mean, or the next couple, I mean, maybe we could pass the Cowboys and lead our division. But this is a very tough game, uh, even though we are at home here. The Cowboys are so good. We lost to them earlier. Our very first game, we actually ended up losing to them. And so now the Giants are looking for a rebound here. Look at these jerseys, such cool jerseys that they're wearing. There's Romo and Bryant and Witten. Uh, that's going to be a combination all day long. Um, two great receivers right there. Anyway, this is going to be Josh Brown kicking it. Uh, not even deep. I was going to say deep. Not even deep. Uh, just barely inside the 10. This is uh, Des Bryant bringing it out past the 25 through the 27-yard line. And now here comes Tony Romo. 25 touchdowns, 5 picks, over 3,000 yards, 67% completion percentage. Romo's had a pretty solid season so far uh, this season. This is going to be uh, Des Bryant underneath for a very small gain. As you can see, obviously the best offensive line in the league. Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, Tyrone Smith. I mean, it, it, the list just goes on and on. This is such a good team. And then Ezekiel Elliott there at running back. He is actually top 10 in rushing yards. So he's having a good year. Witten is a threat. And obviously Des Bryant. Speaking of Witten, Witten gets away from Darian Thompson. Witten down the sideline. He has one man left to beat. And Dominic Rogers cromartie speed allows us to save a touchdown right there. But the very next play, Ezekiel Elliott goes in for his 10th career rushing touchdown, his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. And um, the Cowboys, they, they just destroyed us on that drive. Three easy plays right there. And just like that, they're up 7 nothing, and that is not good. There was little to no resistance. There was more resistance from just water, all right, just water than our defense right there. 34 touchdowns, 12 picks, 3,800 yards, and a 68.9 completion percentage for Eli Manning. He's had a very good season, and he might be on pace to get over 5,000 yards. That is insane. That was a small run up the middle. You got Wesley Richburg, Justin Pugh, not as good at all as that Cowboys offensive line. But we do have Jennings, who's had a he started off hot. Now he's sort of cooled down, and of course, Beckham is, I mean, he, he is our entire offense. Now, let's take a look at this Cowboys defense after an incomplete complete pass. You got Crawford, McLean, Gregory, and Lawrence. I like uh, Gregory as a pass rusher. You got Rolando McLean, Sean Lee. Sean Lee, one of the best linebackers in the league, and veteran Justin Durant. He knows what he's doing. And Orlando Scantrick, Brandon Carr, Byron Jones, and uh, Barry Church. Now, third and five. Manning's going to roll out. Hit as he throws, but it's actually, they're going to roll it as a fumble. It's picked up by Randall, Randy Gregory to the end zone. It was a hit by Crawford. Uh, Tyrone Crawford got a strip sack. Gregory picks up the ball, returns it, and they're not even going to call it an incomplete pass. And just like that, the Cowboys are up 14-0. They scored two touchdowns in two minutes. And the Giants, again, just another mistake. Eli Manning, his arm was in motion. You can watch it again. But they're going to rule it a fumble for a touchdown. Uh, very small run right there by Jennings. This time he gets a couple more yards. Now third and five from the 30. Manning, quick pass over the middle to Donnell. That's going to be batted away. I believe that was Sean Lee. Uh, fourth and five. This one's kicked deep to Lucky Whitehead, and he's going to be starting at the 27-yard line. This Cowboys defense is, or uh, offenses. This is going to be Romo feeling the pressure, and he's going to find Witten over the middle for a first down. First and ten, handoff. Elliott. Elliott has space. Elliott trying to get a first down, but he's brought down from behind by Landon Collins. Second and one, play action fake. Romo has all day long. Finally feeling the pressure at the end, and that is going to be someone there as he hits as he throws right there we need these guys to step up and really stop the run and the pass our defensive line one of the better defensive lines in the league i say this every single time devin kennard he's always improving still a 79 overall we need him to become an 80 and obviously our secondary um it's going to be a matchup des bryant versus uh dominic rogers camardi and uh, Janoris Jenkins, first and ten underneath the Bryant. He gets a gain of three yards, second and seven. Ezekiel Elliott up the middle. He tries to make a man miss, but he just ends up powering forward. Three rushes, 23 yards. He's gotten off to a very good start and also a touchdown. Uh, right there, though, he gets stuffed. Second and 11. Romo's going to be decked by Jonathan Hankins. What a big sack right there from Hankins. Third and 22. It's caught by Terrence Williams, and that puts him right there in field goal range. 
and the Cowboys are going to take advantage of that mistake by the Giants defense and now go up three possessions. It is 17-0. The Giants need to get something going here. They've just been lifeless this first half. Right here, Jennings powers through someone, but that's J.J. Wilcox there on the tackle bring him down in the backfield. Jennings almost for a first down, third and two. Again to Jennings. He barely gets it as he meets Sean Lee in the hole. First and 10 from the 36. This is going to be Rashad Jennings again, this time underneath on a pass. That's Manning's first completion for six yards. Second and four, he's stuffed. Third and three from the 43. One second left to go. Manning fumbles it again, and Eric Flowers, since he wasn't blocking his guy, was there to pick up the football, and that looks bad. If you're an offensive lineman and recover a fumble, you shouldn't be happy. You should be thinking, crap, why was I in the position to be recovering a fumble? Because you should be blocking your guy. Anyway, that's Jason Pierre-Paul on the stop after a gain of four from Elliott. That was a very generous four yards. Right there, though, he gets stopped in the backfield. Third and nine. This is Romo looking over to Cole Beasley, and Beasley gets his two little feet in bounds. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Uh, this is going to be Hankins on the stop on Elliott. Second and nine. This is Cole Beasley again. Janoris Jenkins denying him of a first down. Third and two from the 46. Elliott has a hole, and Elliott accelerates through for the first down. Uh, right there, that is going to be James Hanna, John Hanna, someone Hanna, Lee, I don't know, in motion, and um, that's going to be a run for no yards. But there is a penalty on the play, and it's going to be holding on, or illegal block in the back on Tyrone Smith. First and 20 now, Elliott is stopped by, and he's actually going to be injured right here by Darian Thompson. That was a, it wasn't like a big hit or anything. Darian Thompson just simply put him on the ground, and that is the end of Ezekiel Elliott for the day. So now here comes Alfred Morris for his first snap. He's going to be uh, Elliott's replacement. Second 16, it's a draw to Morris. Morris hits the hole. Morris's first run before replacing Ezekiel Elliott is going to be a touchdown, and the Cowboys are just rubbing salt in the wound. That is now Morris's 10th rushing touchdown of the season. And that there's, there was just no defense there by the Giants. This uh, Cowboys offensive line is just so good. You can't we, – we need our linebackers to step up, and obviously we don't have linebackers. The only reason we've been able to stop the run so far this season is because of our defensive line, our linebackers. Uh, they're just not doing that great. Right here, Manning looking down the field. The receiver never turned around, and it's picked off by J.J. Wilcox. Terrible decision by Pey or Eli Manning. Did I say Peyton Manning before? I'm sorry if I did. I mean Eli Manning. And, um, yeah, that was Hakeem Nix, who just never turned around on the pass. And for some reason, the corner did. And that's not even the corner's job. The receiver's job is to turn around. This is Alfred Morris, though, getting stopped by Jonathan Casillas off the outside for only a gain of two. Morris again for about a yard. Third and seven now from the 50. Roma looking to get into field goal range, but he's going to feel Olivier Vernon. And Olivier Vernon steps up for the Giants' defense and gets a stop. This is Dwayne Harris back to return from the, his own 20-yard line. He's not really going to go anywhere. Uh, first and... 10. Mays is going to try to roll out to his right again. This time he's brought down, sacked Demarcus Lawrence. Second and 20. He's going to roll out again, and this time Demarcus Lawrence was all over him, along with a Randall Gregory. So he just, Randy Gregory. So he just has to throw that away. And then Larry Donnell underneath is going nowhere. So fourth and 19 from the Giants' own 14 yard line. They're just going to kick this one away, and this is a very nice kick, and the refs, or actually, no, Lucky Whitehead's going to come out and pick it up. The Giants there did not rush down to get the football. There's just a lack of effort. The Giants' morale is just dropped in this game, and like sort of like how Des dropped it in the Green Bay game in 2014, you know what I'm saying? Second and 10, gain of seven yards there on the pass by Romo, and then on third and three, Romo finds... Uh, Cole Beasley, but that's Devin Kenner there on the strip, and Landon Collins picks up the football and runs out of bounds. Unfortunately, I thought he could have taken that one back, but nice play. But then right here, Victor Cruz gets by Brandon Carr and outruns by er, uh, someone, <laughs> another Dallas Cowboy, for a touchdown. So that is a nice response right there after the huge Devin Kenner strip. Uh, and then uh, that was uh, Landon Collins there on the fumble recovery. So nice job by the Giants getting the ball back and scoring very quickly. Uh, Whitehead's going to let this one go out the back of the end zone. Uh, first and 10. That pass is going to be batted down. Second and 10. Play action fake to Morris. Roma looks over the middle of the field. It's caught by Cole Beasley. This one is ripped from him again. That time it was Keenan Robinson unable, uh, who made him unable to catch the football. And that's... Uh, uh, oh my god, I forgot his name. That's uh, the Snacks in the backfield there stopping Lance Dunbar. That's Oh. oh, man. I'm dying. Oh, now Beckham Jr. gets my Brandon Carr and into the end zone. I'm dying. Oh, man. What was I going to say? Snacks got the, 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 the sack, and then uh, it was a bad punt. 
uh, recovered by what's his face <laughs> and then he brought it in the field goal range and then the very next play Odell Beckham Jr. gets the touchdown and we miss the extra point I'm still partially joking all right <coughs> I'm dying all right Alfred Morris this is not good at all this is a huge hit right there by Dar uh, Darian Thompson second and three from the 32 yard line over to the sideline to uh, Des Bryant, he's going to pick up the first down. First and 10 from the 45. Romo in the pocket. Under pressure by Jason Pierre-Paul. Has to float this one away. Second and 10 from the 45. 15 seconds left. They have three timeouts. Romo taking forever to pick a receiver. He's going to find Witten for a third, first down. They're almost in field goal range. Romo feels the pressure. He's actually going to get fumble. He's actually going to fumble the ball. And, um... With two seconds left to go, they're just going to hand this one to Alfred Morris, and that's going to end the half. So now we're going to get the ball to start the half. We're still in this game. We just need a couple touchdowns, a couple big plays to go our way, which just seems like it didn't really go our way that much until the very end of the first half. This is going to be first and ten up to Odell Beckham Jr. on Brandon Carr, which has been a mismatch that Manning has been exploiting so far. Again to Beckham, but right there, Carr makes a nice play. Second and ten from the 47. Manning looks over the middle of the field. It's almost intercepted by Sean Lee, who was just lurking there and just batted that down. Third and ten. Almost intercepted again. That was Rolando McLean on the tip and almost intercepted by Sean Lee. Uh, bad decision right there by uh, Eli Manning. It's going to be Leon Hall on the immediate tackle. Lucky Whitehead on the punt return. This is Damian. Not Damian. What is his name? Damian Harrison. No. What is his name? Anyway, a huge play right there by Harrison as he recovers the fumble. Uh, from the strip and then this is gonna be Jennings getting denied on the goal line by Sean Lee the very next play Manning dives forward for a touchdown the Giants are making a comeback they need this game to get into the playoffs and they're gonna miss the two-point conversion as Beckham could not get cleanly around Sean Lee who's been just making so many big plays right here I keep saying his name this is Des Bryant now returning it out to the 27 yard line about yes it is the 27 yard line first and 10 play action fake Romo looking down the field. He's going to find Bryant for a first down. Sec or first and 10. Handoff Alfred Morris. He's going to power his way up the middle for about a gain of five. Second and five. Uh, play action fake. Romo under pressure, and he is sacked. That is Devin Kennard and Thomas. D uh, uh, crap, why am I forgetting their names? This is a huge play by Terrence Williams for the first down and a lot more. Uh, Alfred Morris off the right side gets a couple yards. Second and seven. Uh, Terrence Williams in motion. Romo under pressure by Harris. He's going to throw this one over the middle to uh, Butler. And Butler, the rookie, makes the nice catch and the nice play for the first down. First and 10. Romo's going to float that one out of bounds uh, from the 20 yard line. Now, this is going to be Alfred Morris with a huge run. Third and three. Very manageable. Hannah in motion. And they're going to try to run the ball with Alfred Morris. But the Giants' defense is there for a nice stop. And the Cowboys are going to end up kicking the field goal, going up 27 to 19. Uh, there is three minutes left to go in the third quarter, and the Giants need to get something going. This is going to be Rashad Jennings up the middle, and Jennings picks up a couple yards. Uh, second and four, this is going to be Hakeem Nix underneath. He's going to be denied the first down by Rolando McClain, but on third and one, they let the middle wide open, and that is going to be Rashad Jennings on the nice carry. Jennings again up the middle. The Giants are trying to get a drive going. Another handoff. This is going to be Vereen. Vereen takes it for a couple yards. Uh, third and three. This is going to be Odell Beckham Jr. getting by the corner and breaking across the plane of the first down marker for a first down. Jennings now is just going to be bottled up. And uh, he's gonna, there's going to be a holding call on the Giants' offensive line. That is going to be on Will Johnson. Actually, it's the fullback. Um, this is going to be first and 18. That one is almost intercepted on the screen. Uh, second and 18. Now this is Larry Donnell breaking away from a defender, but finally being brought down. Uh, third and 13. This one's over the middle. Oh, Del Beckham Jr. who gets him down inside the 10-yard line to the 7. First and goal handoff for Rashad Jennings. He's going to be going nowhere, actually backwards. Uh, second and goal. This one's out to Shane Vereen. Vereen gets the yardage back. Third and goal from the 7. Actually, he doesn't get any yards back. This is Larry Donnell, and Donnell is denied on the 1-yard line. Fourth and goal. Manning trying to sneak it. Weston Richburg stepped out of the way. What are you thinking, man? Almost a safety right there by Jason Pierre-Paul. We have him pinned, but their fullback is going to dive forward and pick up. Uh, so we can't really get a safety. And then they're also going to pick up the first down. We desperately, desperately need a stop right here. Alfred Morris with a spin move. He is eventually shut down. Uh, second and six. This is Jason Witten. 
Witten for a first down. Now, uh, it's Damon Harrison, not Damian Harrison. What am I thinking? This is going to be Terrence Williams who gets away from everyone. The entire Giants defensive secondary. Secondary was fooled. Jenkins cannot catch him. That was just blown coverage by Dominic Rogers Cromarty. Absolutely terrible. You've got to be able to cover your guy. I mean, he just got beat. I don't even think he was on the screen. And that is a terrible play by Dominic Rogers Cromarty. He's been so good. He's been doing so good for us right there, except for that play. And this game is pretty much over with four minutes left. But Manning doesn't think that way until right now. He throws a pick to Rolando McLean. And the Dallas Cowboys are in field goal territory almost intercepted by Janoris Jenkins but he bats it down what are you thinking man we need a, we need a turnover uh, second and ten Morris is going nowhere third and 11 Romo under pressure he's actually gonna put the ball on the ground it's picked up by Damon Harrison with his second fumble recovery of the day first and ten a slant to Victor Cruz he can't hang on second and ten Manning has all day he's looking deep to Beckham the catch is made and Beckham for another touchdown the Giants are still alive a huge play from Eli Manning to Odell Beckham Jr. and Brandon Carr just wants to dig a hole he cannot cover anybody in this game right now especially Odell Beckham Jr. and Manning is taking advantage of that uh, because he is a smart quarterback first and ten Romo has to float this one out of bounds after feeling uh, Olivier Vernon breathing down his neck. This is going to be James Hanna on a John Hanna. I don't know his name for a gain of three. This is going to be Des Bryant on the slant route, picking up the first down. Terrible coverage by Janoris Jenkins. Over the middle now called by Terrence Williams. And Dominic Rogers Cromarty continues to get beat by Terrence Williams. This is ridiculous. Alfred Morris now up the middle. The John... Uh, the Cowboys offense is just rolling. That's a huge hit right there by Landon Collins on Alfred Morris. Third and three down the field. Over to Witten. And that's a nice play by Landon Collins who had two nice plays in a row. But the Dallas Cowboys are pretty much just going to shut this game away. Um, we, had a, we had a glimpse of hope there. Uh, but our defense simply cannot stop this offense. This offense is so, so stacked from their offensive line. So they're wide receivers, they're tight end, they're tight ends, ancient, and yet he's still playing good. Morris Claiborne, Morris, or just Morris, I don't know. Uh, he gets the penalty. Manning rolls out to his left. He is just sitting there. The seconds are ticking down. He's going to try to find Vereen. Vereen makes the nice catch for a gain of 15 yards, but uh, it's coming back. Thank you, Marshall Newhouse. Uh, minus 10 yards right there. That whole play does not count. Manning's going to roll out to his left again, feeling the pressure, and he's just going to take the sack from Randy Gregory, second and 25, Manning again getting hit as he throws, so the ball is not going anywhere, third and 25, play action fake, very weird play call, looks down the field to uh, Sterling Shepard, and he overthrows him over Brandon Carr, Carr was beat again, and then on fourth and 25, the Cowboys send a blitz, and that is pretty much going to be the end of this game. And the Giants don't even waste calling their last time out because they know it's over. McAdoo loses another game, and this was a painful loss. We go 0-2 this year against the Dallas Cowboys. Ah, uh, man, they, they're just so good. And defensively, they were good, too. Manning got picked off twice. Um, or was it once? No, he got picked off twice. That terrible decision downfield. Again, picked off by J.J. Wilcox. And then over the middle, he didn't even see the linebacker, Orlando McClain. And the Cowboys defense, I think, is underrated in real life. Like, what they did when uh, all, of, all their players were suspended was absolutely fantastic. The way they played against the Redskins early in the season, that was very good. And then when they get all their players back, I think they'll be, I mean, even better. I mean, they, in real life, they already do have their players back, and they're playing very well. Um, but anyway, this is going to be uh, the end of this episode. Uh, Victor Cruz right there, you can see uh, he had a the, the Brandon Carr. It's just a highlight reel, a low light reel for Brandon Carr this whole game. Terrence Williams, though, getting away from Dominic Rogers Cromartie. That scares me that Cromartie got beat that bad. Gregory returns one for a touchdown after a strip sack from Tyrone Crawford. Right here, you see that they beat us in every single category. We tied them in takeaways. It's just we couldn't do anything with the football once we got the takeaways, which is just completely unacceptable. And we also got stopped on that fourth and one from the goal line. That's painful. Uh, Roma had a huge game in terms of yards. Alfred Morris, he came in, did so well for Ezekiel Elliott. And Elliott did very well, too. Jason went five receptions, 100 yards. Uh, Beckham had a huge game. Five receptions, 156 yards, two touchdowns. That's giving us the end of this episode, guys. Comment, subscribe, remember your veggies, go to school. Dan Garfield's out. Peace!